Khalid bin Walid, the Sword of Allah. It is reported that Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said, The better ones of you in the days of ignorance are the better ones of you in Islam when they understand the religion. These wise words of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, were best proved in the case of our hero today, Khalid bin Walid. For it was Khalid bin Walid who managed to cause the defeat of the Muslim army at Uhudi before his conversion to Islam. After his acceptance of the faith, Khalid bin Walid was the champion of many a decisive battle in favor of Islam, such as the battle against Musaylima the Impostor and the Battle of Yarmouk against the Roman Empire's army in Syria. In fact, the reader of history will find that Khalid bin Walid was a military strategist and commander with very few equals in human history, a man who turned many a defeat or near defeat into glorious victories, as well shall see in the few examples we will be quoting. The first military encounter in which our hero showed his genius was the Battle of Uhud, which he, while a polytheist, caused to be the worst for Muslims in the early days of Islam. This battle was initiated by the Makan polytheists, in revenge for their defeat at the Battle of Badr, where more than a thousand of them were defeated by only a little over 300 Muslim fighters. In the Battle of Uhud, Prophet Muhammad alayhi wasalam, placed a group of archers on a nearby hill to give protection to the back of the Muslim army with specific instructions not to leave their posts under any circumstances. However, when the battle proved initially to be in favor of the Muslim army, the archers forgot the orders of their commander and left their positions. At this juncture, the military genius of Khalid bin Walid led him to take a band of fighters with him around the hill and attack the Muslim army from the rear, where they least expected their enemy. Hence, the loss on the part of the Muslims became a great one. The Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, was wounded and his uncle Hamza killed, along with many other distinguished companions of the Prophet, Salalahu alaihi wasalam, in the eighth year after the Hijra. One day, Khalid bin Walid sat pondering on the new religion, Islam. He kept saying to himself, the message is fast spreading and the man is certainly a messenger. What am I waiting for? For how long shall I postpone my conversion to Islam? He wished for a companion to travel with him to Medina, and he found two others who had the same thought. When Khalid arrived at Medina and announced his acceptance of the faith of Islam, the first thing he asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was to pray to Allah to forgive him for his earlier aggression against Islam and the Muslims. The Prophet told him that conversion to Islam meant that all his past sins were forgiven by Almighty Allah. Nevertheless, at the insistence of the sincerely repenting Khalid, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prayed for him to be forgiven for whatever he had done to Islam and the Muslims before his conversion to Islam. With Khalid bin Walid joining the camp of believers, he found the honorable cause to fight for, and the believers gained a true military genius who was both an excellent strategist and a fierce fighter and army commander. The first battle in which Khalid won the day for Muslims was the Muslims' first encounter with the Byzantine army in the Battle of Mutah on the northern borders of the Arabian Peninsula. Due to the dangerous nature of the battle, Prophet Muhammad alayhi wasalam, chose three commanders to succeed one another. The reason for sending these fighters was that the Byzantine rulers in the Syrian region had killed some Muslim missionaries and converts to Islam thus proving their hostility not only to the faith, but also, and even worse, to the principle of freedom of belief, which Islam considers to be the most important cause for which a believer should fight and stand. The Byzantine army proved to be too large in number in comparison with the small number of Muslims. Yet the Muslim army never hesitated to enter the battle, everyone hoping to find his way to paradise and the pleasure of Allah through martyrdom.